So today's announcement is going to be um, our brand new winter storm, winter storm Nemo, which is taking aim on the southern tier of the United States right now, and there's a northern component that is going to combine forces with the southern storm, and it's going to come together off the coast of Long Island later this evening into tomorrow, and it's going to be a full-fledged blizzard winter storm Nemo. So that's our main focus on today. Um, other than that, I'm going to get to Nemo in just a minute, but um, for the rest of the country, we have just a kind of... Um, storm kind of set up right now. We have a couple of storms that are coming through the picture. Again, right now we have a stormy situation in the southern tier of the country. No severe weather, really. We had some severe weather earlier this uh, this morning in parts of the panhandle of Florida and southern Alabama and Georgia. But now it's just rain pushing off up into the Carolinas, eventually coming into the mid-Atlantic, D.C., Baltimore, Philly. You're going to get wet later this evening and going over uh, into the nighttime hours. And then we also have a new storm that's going to be kind of taking shape in the Pacific Northwest with rain and mountain snow, obviously. That's going to start gearing up later this, uh, um, also tonight and going into tomorrow. And that's going to be one of the bigger storms that's going to pull out of the Rockies and is actually going to kind of make a huge mess into the middle part of the country by the time this weekend rolls around. Um, I have storms here. We are going to have severe weather. Again, possible for parts of the Southern Plains coming into Saturday, especially into Sunday. So if you live in parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri, Kansas, you're all in the red for uh, severe weather this, in, this weekend, especially going into uh, Sunday during the day and everything. Um, so that's going to be probably the next big system that comes out of the Pacific Northwest and into the Rockies. Staying quite mild, actually, over the Southwest um, for this upcoming weekend and everything. It is going to remain chilly and quite cold across the northern tier of the country. And again, once the Pacific Northwest storm comes into play this weekend, we are going to have snow on the backside, the northern fringe of the system. So... Um, places in Illinois, Iowa, going into the Dakotas and Minnesota, you are going to see some snow out of the uh, system by the time the weekend ends. But before that, before that storm gets here, we have to go through today and going into tomorrow. And right now, again, Nemo is not there just yet. Again, we have two storm systems, one in the southern tier of the country, one in the northern tier around the Great Lakes. They're going to come together, converge, so to say, into one big, full-fledged, like, nor'easter, pretty much. We have named it, obviously, Winter Storm Nemo, and this, folks, could rival the blizzard of 1978. If you remember, actually, uh, this day in weather history, back in 1978, we were just ending the big storm, the big blizzard, and actually, funny enough, it was happening in the same time, the same area, so to say, um, as Winter Storm Nemo is forecasted to do. So, um, again, very dangerous conditions going into parts of New England and parts of the Northeast. Uh, winter storm watches are up for everybody in the um, Northeast, from Maine all the way going down into New Jersey and parts of Pennsylvania. New York City, you're expected to get 6 to 12 inches of snow. And then places in, like, uh, Hartford going into Providence, um, 12 to 18 inches of snow. And then a very, um, very um, not wide, but very narrow band of snow is expected to set up up to 2 to 3 feet of snow is possible right outside the Boston area going into southeastern New Hampshire and southern Maine. So we could see upwards of three feet of snow from Nemo going into, especially from tomorrow going into Saturday. That's when the whole thing is supposed to crank up. It's going to be very cold. It's going to be very windy. We have blizzard warnings that are up for southeastern part of New England, including the Boston and Providence uh, areas going over into Cape Cod and the islands. Um, I don't know if Hartford's in that or not. I have to double check. But anyways, it's going to be very windy, very cold. Uh, very snowy, obviously, um, Friday going into Saturday, so if you don't have to travel, don't stay inside, stay warm, uh, right out the storm as usual, and um, things will quiet down by the end of the weekend and stuff. Um, places in parts of New York going down to Pennsylvania, you are under 
winter storm watches. Those will become winter storm warnings, most likely. There are weather, uh, winter weather advisories also in parts of Pennsylvania. Just more of a lighter accumulations, like one to three, four, five inches of snow. Um, again, all the heavy snow is going to be confined in the New England area, um, especially into like the Berkshires, their green and white mountains. Uh, so it's going to be great for skiing if you love skiing. Um, this is probably the weekend to go, well, after the snow hits, um, unless you like to go out skiing during the middle of a full fledged blizzard. I don't personally, I want, I like to wait until after the snow has fallen, but if you like to do that, Go ahead and do it as long as the ski resorts are open um, during this whole entire Winter Storm Nemo event. So that's what's going to happen this weekend. It's going to be the main player. But then after Nemo exits, and remember I was talking about our uh, Pacific Northwest system coming into play for the middle part of the country on Sunday, that's going to be a much warmer storm. And so when that makes its way eastward at the beginning of next week, it's going to bring actually rain unfortunately, to parts of the, uh, the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Um, some places that even are going to get pounded by snow this weekend, unfortunately, uh, you're going to have rain coming into um, parts of southern New England and going into parts of the Northeast beginning of next week, which is going to cause melting and flooding, and it's going to be a whole mess. Not going to be fun at all at the beginning, beginning of next week. So that's what you got to look out as well after this uh, Nemo passes by. Sunday and Monday should be good and dry, but after that, we're going to have our next storm system. Again, it's going to take aim on the southern plains with severe weather. Um, again, damaging winds, um, large hail, and the possibility of isolated tornadoes are possible on Sunday for those places I mentioned in the southern plains. Once that storm system moves, over to the East Coast, um, it's not. It's going to kind of lose its severe weather uh, potential, but a lot of rain is going to come into the picture, and temperatures are going to be very uh, mild, um, mid to upper 50s for the Mid Atlantic states, and 40s going into parts of uh, the Northeast and New England once the next storm system after Nemo rolls around. So unfortunately, we are going to have to look out for flooding potentials uh, early next week. But that is the big picture for this upcoming weekend, again, with Winter Storm Nemo. And then right now, again, quiet for most of the country, but once the storm system in the Pacific West moves into the heart of the country, places down in the southern tier want to watch out for any severe weather, again, at the end of this weekend. So I'll be back again, hopefully with another update after Winter Storm Nemo moves on by and after our next storm system moves on by as well. Just give you another update next week on your weather. Until then, remember to keep your eye to the sky and stay indoors and watch out for Winter Storm Nemo. See ya!